Hi everyone, I'm Beth. I'm a PhD student at the chemistry department and I'm going to tell you about my work into the development of new materials for the high density storage of natural gas fuel. So what is natural gas and why am I interested in storing it? Natural gas is very abundant and it's mostly made of methane, which is a very clean burning fuel. It's a lot cleaner than petrol and diesel and it emits significantly less toxic pollutants like nitrous oxide and almost no particulate matter, which is a respiratory irritant. So if we swapped from using petrol and diesel to using more clean natural gas, we might be able to make some improvements in local air quality. The reason we don't already use more natural gas is that it's incredibly difficult to store with sufficient density for most applications. Normally for a car, for example, you'd want to store a very large quantity of fuel in a very small space like a fuel tank. And this is really difficult for gases. We'd have to store natural gas at dangerously high pressures above 250 bar. And this would also need very expensive and heavy reinforced tankers. The US Department of Energy says that for natural gas to be able to compete with liquid fuels, it has to be stored with a density of about 263 cubic centimetres per cubic centimetre at only 65 bar and at room temperature. And if you look at how gas density changes in a normal tank at 65 bar, we're nowhere near the target values. So I'm looking at using metal organic frameworks or MOFs as a new way of achieving high density gas storage. Uh, MOFs are uh, these really nice uh, framework structures made of metal atoms or clusters assembled with organic linkers. They have really high surface area and porosity, and this is where we can store gas. More than 80,000 different MOF structures are currently known, and they all have really different chemical and physical properties, which means they can be tuned for different applications. And in particular, we can tune MOFs specifically for the absorption of natural gas. I'm using this metal organic framework called UIO66. It's made of zirconium oxide clusters assembled with simple terephthalic acid linkers, and it makes this really beautiful crystalline uh, material. It's one of the most chemically, thermally, and mechanically stable moths we know of. It has a really high surface area and porosity, so it can store loads of gas. And it's also very cheap to manufacture, so it's basically an all-round really good option for gas storage. So what have I actually achieved? I've synthesized that MOF UIO66 as a new type of monolithic metal organic framework. That means instead of being made as a powder like MOFs normally are, it's made as this kind of glassy material with very high density. And this is perfect for high density gas storage. I tune the density of this material to maximize its gas storage capacity. And I also varied the porosity to try and um, increase its methane absorption capacity. So by doing this, I achieved a methane absorption isotherm like this. And you can see at 65 bar, it's significantly higher than a normal pressurized storage tank. And it becomes very close to the ultimate US targets. Um, it's still a little bit below the targets, but considering that it's an air stable material, this is a really special result. And if we increase the pressure now to 100 bar, we're exceeding the ultimate target values. So this is now the record setting natural gas adsorbent material. Um, and it's also low cost to manufacture and um, industrially viable. So overall, I've developed a new type of monolithic metal organic framework, which is industrially viable. And it's the record setting natural gas adsorbent material. I'm currently uh, working with chemical engineers at Immaterial Labs who are trying to achieve pilot plant scale production of this. And uh, the overall aim of the work, which I think we've taken a step towards, is to achieve uh, clean, green uh, fuel storage um, to reduce pollutant emissions. So I'd like to thank my project supervisors, Andrew and David, and all my collaborators, as well as my funding providers for their support. Thank you.